Talk to me about how your views on space exploration have changed and where they are now. You are hitting all the points, aren't you? Um, <laughs> uh, well, look, I, I really, I mean, it was, it was so inspiring. And that's, in my mind, the only, the most useful thing about sending humans into space is that it, it can inspire young kids to get interested in science, maybe. I don't think sending humans into space is useful. I mean, certainly scientifically, it's not useful at all. Um, the best science is done when it's so much cheaper and so much more effective without humans. Because when you send humans into space, 99.99% of the cost of the mission is to keep humans alive. <laughs> leaving very little left over for science. And you can only explore places where humans can survive. You can't, you can't, you know, explore in, in Jupiter's you know, or at v Venus and or in the mo under the oceans of Europa and Enceladus. And, and, um, and uh, so I, I think we do space exploration for adventure, and I can understand that. I, I testified before Congress with Buzz Aldrin once on the future of space exploration, and I said that. I think as long as we're honest about it and say we're sending these people to space just sort of because, you know, it's the final frontier and we want to excite people and it's, and it's exploration and adventure, that's fine, as long as we don't take the money out of the science budget to do it. Hmm. And a single human space expedition is more than the entire budget of, of, of the National Science Foundation, probably. And um, if it's an expedition to the moon or somewhere. Uh, so, so, so I worry when, when funds are taken, when, when human space exploration is presented as if it's a boon to science and takes money from science. There's no, there's no scientific, there's no, and, and also... We can just do things so much better in space without humans. Humans evolved to be pretty w well adapted to the uh, environment on Earth. They didn't evolve to be well adapted to space. And moreover, mass is the enemy of space travel. And humans are these sort of 100 kilogram or whatever, 70 kilogram bags of water. It's so much, it's so much more, it, it, it makes no sense to kind of use humans as our tools of exploration. The robots on the rovers on on Mars that have been around for decades, you know, humans they don't require food or companionship or sex or love or anything. They just uh, I find them very poetic. These lonely things moving on the surface, and right, they're getting better. And and you know, people and I have friends of mine who are geologists, including one of the geologists that walked on the moon, say that a, that a human geologist could could uh, you know do in an hour what the rovers are doing in you know six months. Okay, but it, you know you can send a thousand rovers to Mars for the cost of sending a single human, and now they're getting better and better, and you know and and uh, so I don't I mean this these romantic notions about sending humans to Mars I don't understand it it's not gonna no matter what Elon Musk says it's not gonna happen soon people are gonna die and why and what's the point I look in the long run I accept that in the long run it's nice for the human species to move out into space and diversify not put all its eggs in one basket and, mm -hmm. and, and hedge its bets against destruction. But we're talking millions or billions of years. We're not talking in the decades. And so sending a, a colony to Mars right now isn't going to help Earth at all. And in fact, it's ridiculous. It's, it, it's just ludicrous. Better to send them under the, to the ocean floor. It's probably easier to live there than it is in Mars. Anyway. It does make for a good movie, though, uh, for of my fellow Martian but, fans out there. Yeah, but I point out that you can send a rover to Mars for the cost of sending Matt Damon to Mars in a movie. <laughs> okay, uh, we're making a movie about sending Matt Damon to Mars. So really, the rover costs are not that different than making a major Hollywood movie. There we are. Anyway.